Jamal, knowing you've had some missed opportunities there, what was that like to finally get a get a pick in your hands? Man, it don't really matter, man. Obviously, you know, it's a good feeling, uh, but, you know, the ultimate goal is to win. So, uh, you know, I'm not really focused on that right now. Where this defense was, can you take any positives from losing? Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we have another opportunity. Um, we're still in this thing. Uh, you know, our confidence is not going to waver. It's not going to change. Um, we're not going to change who we are. We're going to continue to compete, continue to work hard, um, and continue to fight. That's all we can do. What do you think has, I mean, the defense now, it's been been like a month or so of playing a lot better. What, what's allowed you guys to turn things around a little bit? I think it's, you know, just everybody understanding their job. You know what I mean? Everybody playing off one another. Um, you know, the energy is there. The juice is there. Um, we just got to play smart. You know what I mean? In, in crucial situations, you know, we can't, we can't have penalties. Um, those, those things lead to points, um, especially playing a, a, gr a great group of guys like them. Um, it's definitely going to, you know, it's going get to us, get us beat at the end. Is it frustrating to have a, such a good defensive performance for as long as you guys did and still not be good enough to win? It's frustrating to lose, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we'll be all right. We'll be back. Um, you know, we just got to keep fighting, keep believing, um, and that's all we can do. Do you feel like, uh, I ask you, are you in a, feel like you're in a good place right now just in terms of what they're asking you to do, right? The, kind of finding that happy medium of, you know, when they ask you to get up to the quarterback and when you're dropping. And just, are you, are you feel like, um, you know, it just seemed like there was a lot of back and forth maybe early in the season and mm -hmm. a lot of questions about how they were using you. Do you feel like, again, you're a little more settled in, a little more confident? Well, you know, um, obviously, you know, I just, when my name is called, um, I make that opportunity happen, um, and you know that's all I can can can, can control. Excuse me. Uh, you know, obviously, you know everybody wants a lot more opportunities um, in the game of football, but it doesn't happen like that. You know, it's a team sport, um, and at the end of the day, you know the ultimate goal is to win, and we didn't come out victorious. Is there something going on with when teams are running screens against you guys? And, like a lot of chunk plays are coming off of those. Not just today, just most yeah. of the season. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously. Uh, the screens they work around the lead, um, and you got to you got to understand situational football, understand where they're gonna take their shots uh, as far as you know screens and, and, and wide delays and um, things like that. Uh, but you know it's it's just playing situational football, understanding uh, you know where they're gonna take the shot, and uh, you know we're gonna continue to get them because you know we've gave up explosive plays in in, in that regard. Uh, but you know as long as we put out the fire and keep working at it because um, we haven't put out the fire yet. Um, they got a couple on us today, tonight. Um, but once we, you know, continue to put out the fire, that's when teams will, you know, stop running them. But until we stop it, it's going to be a long day. We got we to continue to work hard at that. Like, uh, you, were you and Quandre kind of lobbying that you guys were getting held or like pushing the back on some of those? Say it again. Were you and Quandre arguing that you guys were getting held or pushing the back? Not with each other, like to the officials on some of those screens? <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble, man. Um, it wasn't that. Uh, it was more so um, just trying to be clear as far as the rules. You know what I mean? Just th that was just wanted some clarity. Um, you know, just peeling back. I didn't think that you know that was allowed in football anymore, uh, like a peel back block. Um, but you know, <laughs> stay out of that. Stay out of that. You were in on that third down run stuff that Jordan Brooks had. I think he had like 14 tackles. Is what have you seen out of him? Last he's 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 a beast. You know what I mean. He's 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 very natural at what he does. He, he's very instinctive. Um, he's a great teammate, um, and he he wants to be great. Um, and you know he's going to continue to you know get better at the little things. Um, he, his game has changed tremendously uh, from the start of the begin the beginning of the season until now. Um, he's understanding situational fo football. He's understanding how they're going to attack him, um, and I think that's key for for a guy that's younger in, in his career. Um, but he's going to be special. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Jamal. Appreciate it.